Within this lesson, we will round any given decimal to any place value using our place value understanding and the vertical number line. Say the number. Did you say 8 and 735 thousandths? Let's draw a vertical number line. Between what two ones is this number? Right, between eight ones and nine ones. What's the midpoint? Eight and five tenths is the midpoint. 8.5 is equal to how many tenths? Right, 85 tenths. And how many tenths are in our number? 87 tenths. Is 87 tenths more or less than 85 tenths? Right, more. So it could be about here on the number line. So that we would round to 9 ones which also equals 9. Here we're asked to round 49 and 67 hundredths to the nearest tens place. Let's write this number in different unit forms. One way we can decompose it is into tens, the ones, the tenths, and the hundredths. So that there are four tens within that number. Another way that we can decompose it is by counting it as 49 ones with the six tenths and the seven hundredths. We can also count it by its tenths and then the hundredths. Which of these decompositions is most useful when we're looking to, to round to the nearest tenths place? Right, the first one, where we have four tenths. So we have a vertical number line, four tenths, which was 40 again, five tenths, which is 50. And our midpoint then is 45, four tenths and five ones. Placing our number onto this number line, is more than 45 so that it rounds to 5 tenths or 50. If we had rounded to the nearest ones place, we would take this decomposition so we had 49 ones and 50 ones, halfway in between at 49.5. Place it onto the number line, and then it would round also to 50. Here we're asked to decompose 9 and 949 thousandths and round it to the nearest tenths and hundredths place. Setting up our place value chart. And let's decompose it by places. Go ones, tenths, hundredths, thousandths. Putting those together into the tenths place And then we can do the same into the hundredths place, 994 and 9 thousandths, renaming and decomposing this number in different ways. Which of those decompositions helps us when we are rounding to the nearest tenths? Right, this one right here. So we have, within our number, 99 tenths, 
One more than 99 tenths is 100 tenths. This is equal to 9.9, .9, and 100 tenths is equal to 10. Halfway in between is 9.95. So our number is actually just below that. 9.949, so that it rounds to 99 tenths, which also equals 9.9. .9. Then when we round to the tenths place, we get the number 9.9. .9. Rounding to the hundredths place, we use our 994 decomposition. That's 994 hundredths. One more hundredth than that is 995. And then halfway in between, it, that would be 994 hundredths along with 5 thousandths. So our number is nine thousandths, which is more. So that it rounds to 995 hundredths. Okay, your turn to try. Please round this to the nearest hundreds and also to the nearest tenths. What's the decomposition that will help you? Using our vertical number line, we have 100, 200, halfway in between of 150. Placing onto our number line at 143.78. This number is closest to 100. So 143 and 78 hundreds round to 100 if you're rounding to the hundreds place. One thousand four hundred thirty seven tenths, one thousand four hundred thirty eight tenths, one more than that, and then halfway in between is one four three point seven five. <clears throat> Placing our point on the number line, one forty three point seven eight. And then so we're closer to 143.8 when we round to the tenths place. Check over your work.